All right. So what I'm going to be doing today is demonstrating how to solder my flash memory chip to a breakout board. And what I have here is a uh, 8 megabits, which is equal to 1k of memory. Um it's a SOI chip, small mount uh, surfaced device, and we're going to be attaching it to this breakout board, which I got from Anchor Electronics. You can pretty much find these uh, online as well. <clears throat> and to this breakout board, I am going to attach these header pins. I'm going to break off four, and in the end, what it's going to look like gonna look like this bad boy right here so we got the chip drag soldered on with these uh, header pins so here we go <sighs> all right so what I'm gonna do first is this may not be the proper technique just in general, but <clears throat> I'm making do with what I have. Alright, so first off I'm being a little tedious over here. And I can just kind of clean off the surface and what I'm using is just a Q-tip with uh, some alcohol. rubbing alcohol I'm just gonna blow it off so it dries off really quick and then next thing I'm going to position memory on the breakout board like so roughly in the vicinity of where you want it and I'm actually going to use a tool and use a needle nose pliers probably not the best way to do this but it gets the job done okay so I'm going to position the memory chip in a place and clamp down just a little bit with the needle nose pliers adjust pins if I need to so that's on there check it out that looks sexy right all right here we go so one of the key things to do this properly is to use a flux and that's just gonna help let me open this here it's gonna help with soldering onto uh, the breakout board. All right, and it's also gonna keep keep it clean as well. So I'm just gonna take. Let me get this in view here. There we go. I'm gonna take my flux pen and just kind of paint on both sides get that nice in there let me kind of get it a little bit more drenched there you go make sure you have just a firm enough grip so that your uh, memory doesn't move around there you go make sure don't forget to include the traces just in case all right, that's good enough. So I'm going to set that down aside here. <clears throat> All right, get this into view. And my solder tip, I'm going to go ahead and clean it off in my cleaner over here. Tip cleaner. Perfect. 
Look how lowly that is. And then, <clears throat> going to just tin the top. So you get a decent amount, maybe a little bit too much. I'll try that one more time. There we go. And with this dragging technique, I'm just going to go across the leads. Let me get this in focus here. Of the chip. Just drag across, going across the leads multiple times. Like so. And don't worry about bridging. If you swipe across it a few times, it'll eventually kind of work its way out. See, look at that. Okay, time to work on the other side. Let me clean off the tip again. Grab some more solder and Oh, a little too much. There we go. Not that bad. Mm, there we go. See how I clean it off pretty quickly just by dragging it across. All right, I'm gonna clean my tip. Tin it so it doesn't Get all dirty, start oxidizing. Let that cool off for a little bit. Probably cool already, actually. Next, I am going to put on the header pins. And I have a little technique for this because I actually like my header pins on straight. So I'm going to break off four pins. I'm actually going to use a breadboard for this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this in focus. I didn't try this yet, but let's see how well we can do. Oh, not too bad. So, I'm going to stick my pins inside the breadboard, sticking one in first, the second one in the board just to make sure it gets in get in the correct spacing. Set that down. There you go. Now the reason why I do this is to make sure the pins are straight. Um, if you try to do this on a um, helping hands, you're opening yourself up to errors like soldering at an angle or having the pin soldered at an angle and this is the easiest part no flux is needed let me get this in view here all right clean the tip throw in a little solder and just tin it and the pin Right, there we go. Running out of solder. Alright, it looks good to me. Let's check it out. You know you got got on good when none of the pins come out. See how it's nice and straight. Alright. 
And if you notice, it's kind of a glaze on top of the board. And that's because um, there is a flux. So what I'm gonna do is with my Q-tip that I had earlier, I'm gonna clean off that flux because it's a really sticky residue. Clean it off with a Q-tip and just kind of rub it in there. Clean it up. You're gonna actually, gonna kind of want to do it a little aggressively, not too aggressive, but just to kind of rub it off. And after you let it dry, you might want to check if you still have flux still on on it and if you notice I kind of have some <clears throat> solder that went on to different areas but I could just use a solder wick to take that off later not that big of a deal And that's it. Whoa, my bad. You know, we could actually should probably test this out really quick. What I'm gonna do is just make sure that my needs are correct and uh, that everything's on on correctly. So I'm gonna take. the lead and test the pin there you go it's connected check the pin next to it nope 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 next pin or next lead first pin no second there you go third nope fourth nope not so much Let's go to third and get the idea. Connection. 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 And we're golden. Alright, thanks for checking this out.